Okay, for a normal eye, all the light rays from the object is focused on the retina. So this is the retina of the eye. This is just a simple illustration to show how the rays of light passes through the lens to our, of our eyes. Okay, first you need to draw a parallel ray of light okay, from the distance object. So usually I just draw one line at the center without being refracted. It strike on the retina. Okay. So the other two lines is must be parallel to the line that, that I just drawn. Okay. This parallel line. Another parallel line. Okay. So because this is lens, this is if you see the the shape of the lens is convex lens, it must be converged. So for normal eye, it focus or meet ataupun converge at one point again for normal eye it strike on the retina that's why you see a clear image clear focus image okay eh, sorry. don't forget the arrow the arrow Okay, for short-sighted person, the eye can still focus on near object, okay? But parallel right rays from a far object are focused in front of the retina. This is retina forming a blur image. So, again, how to draw the rays of light when it pass through the lens of our eye. So, the first one, you need to draw the center, the first line. It must be not refracted or deviated. It's just a straight line pass through at the center of the lens. Okay. So yeah, the two lines it must be parallel to each other. Parallel to each other. This must be parallel. Okay. Because short-sighted person is in front of the retina, the image form is in front of the retina. So, draw the line, okay, straight line. Okay, you continue the line until it strike on the retina. Okay. So the image is blur. the question will ask you where it is formed the image form in front of the retina this is for short-sighted person yes sorry don't forget the arrow 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 arrows okay that's it so Short-sightedness can be corrected by wearing spectacle with concave lens. Okay, why? Because this is at first to diverge the rays from a distance object before it reaches the eye. The diverge rays then be focused into the retina to see the distance object clearly. So we draw a diagram, a similar diagram to the rear uh, eyes. Okay. So at the center, you draw a straight line without being deviated. Then the parallel line pass to the concave line. It must be diverge. So diverge. Okay. Diverge. Just to show you diverge center. Then passing to the this is actually concave lens, right? So is already corrected it should be focused on the retina on the retina so focus on the 
the retina. So the image is clear. So again, the question will ask you what type of lens okay, to correct the vision for short-sighted person. So you have to use concave lens. Sometimes the question asks you to draw the diagram. Okay, so I just show you a simple illustration. Okay, how to correct a short-sighted person using concave lens. Okay, people who are long-sighted are unable to see object close to the eye clearly. Okay, why? Because the lenses in the eyes are unable to focus a clear image of an object on the retina. So, the right rays focus behind the retina. So, how to do, draw the ray of light passing through the lens of the eyes? It is behind. So, dotted line here. right so it's not clear it's blur because the image is formed or focus behind the retina okay okay as you can see the long sighted person So again, we draw a similar diagram. This one, light rays parallel, light rays parallel to each other. Nah, so what arrow awal lah. Supaya nak nilai di lupa. Okay, so it's converge. Okay, it's converge. Yeah, nampak tu? Converge, not diverge. Converge, converge, and then converge again. Don't forget that here. That's it. 